Hello everybody, tinkerers and engineers alike, welcome back to the Steamworks. Hello Sudden Warrior, good to see you. It is Wednesday, that wonderful time of the week, when we're about halfway through the week, and that is a good thing. I hope everybody is having a great morning. Um, yeah, I'm having an okay, okay morning. After a somewhat disappointing day yesterday, not necessarily in the game, but um, although that was a bit disappointing as well, but more along the lines of toilets. Let me let me talk to you a moment about toilets. Toilets, you might say. What's going on with toilets? Well, you see, when you go to order a toilet, many toilets come in two pieces, all right? And what I found is there's a particular brand of toilet that is very highly rated that I wanted to get. I went to the local big box store. Guess what? They could get the top part, but they couldn't get the bottom part. The bottom part, the bowl, it was on a 15 to 20 week, 15 to 20 week back order. Okay. All right, fine. 15 to 20 weeks. That's not happening. So we'll pick another one. Found another toilet, completely different model. But by the same, you know, manufacturer on Amazon. Said it was in stock. Ordered it from Amazon. And we received a tank in the mail. You know, the part that holds the water. Guess what we didn't receive? The bowl. Oh, by the way, the bowl's on a 15 to 20 week back order. It was a different toilet, same brand. So yeah, that was that was fun. You know, it's the best thing in the world. Half a toilet, half a toilet. That's <laughs> that's the name of the game today. Is half a toilet. Yeah, that that kind of represents my Dark Souls playing. But two completely different models. I actually wrote to the manufacturer on Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Yes, with my Chris Dash account. I was like, you know, <laughs> thanks for half a toilet. Luckily, we're going to be able to return it for free, and we'll just end up getting a $99, you know, special from one of the big box stores. So, yeah, that's that was tons of fun. But I hope everybody else's uh, days are going well. So what we're going to be doing here is going back. Got to go back. Back to the future. I can't do that voice. I'm trying. Doc, Doc. It's me, Marty. I have to... I, I'm going to find some free online classes about voice acting. Not necessarily that I'll become a voice actor, but it, it, it's just... It's lots of fun to imitate voices and um, to figure out how to use your, your mouth, your throat, and everything else. 66 followers, Sun Warrior. That is awesome. Congratulations. That's amazing. So that means you're you're well on your way to affiliate at this point, I would think. So I died here yesterday. Gotta go back through this whole level and just hope. Hope that I can get through it. Still need the three average viewers. You'll get there. Um, you'll find that it it happens faster than you might think. Also, um, I'll say that it was so weird the way it happened for me because it happened for me 
Like I, I wasn't checking my stats every day and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm at 2.75 and then, oh, I'm at 3.1. Yay. And run. I had to, I have a flair for the overly dramatic. Yeah, 66 followers is amazing. Not always. It took you three years to get there, Aguirre. Well, I, I'm, I'm, uh, oh, whoops, I touched the wrong mouse. I'm sorry. But, I mean, it's, it's still a gradual thing. I mean, I think part of the reason I made it was because I got to guest stream on Death Metal Kyle's channel for uh, a week. And also because, um, I got raided a couple times. So Waxley raided me one weekend, and when Waxley raided me with like 30 or 40 people, that, that made my average viewership for that one day like seven. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Come on up. And one more. Wow. That felt good. Were the requirements for affiliate different, though, previously, like before partnership came out? Because I thought, I thought the requirements were different when only affiliate existed. All right, let's go through this again. I love doing this. I'll be perfectly honest. This is my favorite shortcut that we've discovered in the game. Set yourself on fire. Darn it, I have this pole in my way. One more. This is the best way. Like, this is my favorite part of this level. Uh, I'm perfectly honest. In... <laughs> that... That is my be that is my favorite part of this level. So there was no affiliate. I see. So we come over here. Switch back to the bow. Takes a minute to get dialed in. Alright, come on. I have a feeling I'm gonna die if I don't hide for a minute here. <laughs> oh, whoops. You're worried Casey will break your channel when you get affiliate. He's been channeled twice already. Once due to a host and once on his own. In fact, affiliate is what caused the surge of streamers to exist. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Because now, like, a lot of streamers are all about the... the partnership. Really? Ah, uh, he's pulling the same thing I am. There we go. Phew. Because I see a lot of, a lot of people, like, doing the road to partner and stuff. The one thing that I will say is frustrating, um, 
about affiliate is not necessarily... I don't have an issue with stream teams. I think stream teams are great. The thing I have an issue with is when a stream team is nothing but a group of people who basically state we're going to lurk on everybody else's streams all the time and we're going to be using things like lurk tv where you're watching five streams at a time in order to help you and it, and you're required to do that to help others look i will pop into people's streams when i have a moment but i'm not you know perfect here all right i'm gonna get you And now I've got you to deal with. Thank you. And it it was a nice milestone to hit affiliate. It really was. Um All right, got to be careful here. Come back. It was a nice milestone to hit affiliate. It really was. But at the same time, like, you know, there's more that I have to do. There's more that I have to do. You know, I don't see affiliate for me as the be all end all. Um, I don't see three or four years from now if I ever were to get uh Yes, but you see that's a little bit different, Sudden Warrior. I'm saying the that the um there's a difference between... Hang on, don't go too far, buddy. Hang on. There we go. I'll take that. Okay. So like I was saying, um, partner was always a path people wanted and the issue with stream teams is it's not your brand it's somebody else's brand well sudden where i think there's a difference um so Acura is saying that you know when it's someone else's brand and there's a group of people um i think that there's a difference between stream like a legit team and then a hey join our team so that we can get exposure and and be able to Get each other to affiliate as quickly as possible. If you join our team, you're obligated to watch everybody else's stream all the time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, or whenever you can. And, in turn, everybody else will lurk on your stream. Well, guess what? The lurk TV thing doesn't work anymore. Like, it, it doesn't. And people use it, and it's not smart because it doesn't work that well. Yeah, in a second. I know there's a little imp up there somewhere. There's one. I know there's another one up there. And I know there's like two in here. Two in here that I don't want to deal with. Actually, there's like three. The problem is, is that you can't see them from down here. This is always the worst. And I don't have any fire bombs. Hmm. No, sir. I don't like it. But what I will do is I'll take out these two guys at least for now. Using my bow. If there was a way to fully avoid... Come on, buddy. You're going to come right up and you're going to swing at me. I know you're going to do it. Or you're not. Okay. Well, I'll just come over and kill you then. Thank you. I really don't like those imps. Especially because I just got all the souls back that I lost last time. So stream teams are not the way to go unless you are a settled base. Most of my community is from my own brand. Honestly, I will say I think... 60, maybe more percent of my community are lurkers. It's better to grow with a company when they really help your base more than a stream team. I see what you're saying, like affiliations and stuff. Um, oh, that was nice. Now that guy's going to come over. Are you going to set yourself on fire? Really? 
You know, I could change that. Right in the back, you know. Oh, yeah. Come on. Step on up. Alright, I'm just gonna run this way. Have a nice little jog. Alright then. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, mate. Now, I know. <sighs> Wait a minute. Alright, first of all, there's an imp up there. Is that one of the three? No, it probably isn't. I do want to take out that imp. So what I'll do is... I'm gonna dash forward, dash back. It didn't work. It didn't trigger him. I'm trying to trigger you. Whoopsie. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, I killed two of them. I didn't even realize there were two of them there. Oh, that makes me feel better. Maybe that will help me later. Because that means one less will drop down to attack me with this group. I don't know. I'm not really... I prefer to face these guys. Oh, come on. I hit the button to drink Estes. I can't stand these three imps. I cannot stand them. And I was taking my time, too. That kind of frustrates the crap out of me. That's one case I think I'm going to have to use my shield. I'm just going to have to use my shield with that part. Like, it, yeah, I might have a weaker attack, but... There are some situations that are made for a shield, and that's one of them. But yeah, I think there's a difference, though, between certain stream teams like Dark Forces and whatnot, where it's such a loose affiliation, where you still kind of retain your personal brand, and it's just that your personal brand is kind of aligned, just happens to be aligned with the greater kind of overall. So if you look at, say, Dark Forces, it's, you know, they talk about other Dark Forces streamers, they, you know, briefly, they, um... But they don't, it's not like they're like, oh, well, Skullstream is, you know, completely, you know, encompassed by the, uh, the Dark Forces brand and whatnot. So, I, I think it really depends. Well, again, I mean, it's it's all about what you, at the end of the day, what you find interesting, you know? If you don't, you don't. Dramatic jumping. All right, come on. Come on, dude. Nope. I just wanted to remind him I'm up here. And the reason for that is I wanted to walk this way. I need you to keep walking over here, buddy. So... The thing that I'm struggling with within Dark Souls, 
I'm definitely going to use my shield with those imps because this is this is ridiculous. Those imps or cobbles or whatever you call them. I don't even know what the technical name for half the characters in these games are, except for the bosses. It's like, really? Um, it doesn't matter because whatever it is will kill you. All right, you're mine now. Thank you. I'll take a heavy bolt. Really? Like, I dodged you. This guy I will kill. Flat out. Thank you. And we're going to play this game again. I love this game. It's called Shoot People in the Head. And then they commit suicide. See? There, you're going to take an arrow to the knee, buddy. One more. Run out of arrows. Do not fall. Oh, that didn't help me. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, I can't do that fast enough. I wonder if I could hit him this way without actually falling. There he is. Come on, come on back. No, no, don't come up here. Come back. Come on. Oh, that won't work. All right, that was a better way. Okay, so we found a better way. Another better way is not to go over there where those two imps are because it's pointless. But what I will do. All right, I took an extra hit so I could do that. That guy, yeah, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't commit suicide. Okay. Now I gotta take out this guy. See, it's all a matter of planning. Uh, I did die once, yes. Darn little imps. Imps suck. I'm gonna be honest. Like, they're the most... Imps, imps are the most, I think, over-aggressive, like, one of the most over-aggressive characters in this game. Like, alright, I'm gonna walk down here. I'm gonna let Hammer Bro come out. Okay, well, he's not really a Hammer guy. He's a giant axe guy. But yeah, I think that the imps are one of the more aggressive and overpowered creatures in the game it's one of those types of things where the creature is
Uh, so you're saying you don't think Warwich is like super organized? No. Really? What the junk was that? Uh, well, at least I'm recovering my souls each time. There's another death. Duh. I gotta keep going. I at least have to get those souls back and then use Homeward Bone to get back to the Firelink Shrine. I mean, I, I'm up to the point where I'm definitely past one level. No, no. You will not be setting yourself on fire at the moment, sir. Thank you. There will be no fire setting here. i leave all those guys alone. The only time I attacked them was because there was something in front of them that I wanted. I have a general rule here. If people are, like, worshipping and they're not attacking you because they're worshipping you and you know they're not going to attack you, I generally don't attack them. However, if they're people that would normally attack you if, like, they were woken up or whatever, then I'll attack them because there's always a chance they'll wake up at random. So, like, in the previous level, if that guy doesn't scream, a bunch of people don't wake up and start chasing after you. But at the same token, they could wake up again later. I'm going to walk out, let that guy start walking away. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to kill this guy. One zombie. Two zombies. I do like the fact that you're consistently killing zombies in this game. In fact, that's all you're doing is killing zombies. You are a zombie, but you're a zombie that kills zombies. I mean, that, that's got... We've got that going for it, you know? Waiting for my moment. Alright, here we go. This is my moment. And turn and run. Just kill them all. It's free experience. No mercy for the weak. Ah, I don't. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's... Everybody's got their own groove. Everybody's got their own thing. So, like, mine is waiting for this to set it up, s set itself up ideally for me. And using arrows to take, take out those four guys, you know, in the gazebo. It takes a while. My strategy takes a while. I'm not going to, you know, like the, the one strategy that I found that works for this place takes a while. But on the plus side, when, when I'm actually, you know, able to no, when I'm actually able to make it work, it works. Crap. I wanted to throw you off the cliff. There. That was good timing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not often that I could say I have good timing. You're morally rogue. If you can't survive, in my opinion, I'd rather leave you for someone who can. Well, I mean, hey. Uh, that's, you know, that's one way to approach things, you know? If you're not a survivor, I'll 
get with somebody who wills. Yeah, I mean, I've got a... I don't use that many hashtags. I was using support small streamer or whatever support smaller streamer, but it... You know, I don't know how much that actually feeds people my way. We'll say. I mean, I haven't used it in a while. Yep. You go ahead and commit suicide there. And I discovered a new technique here. So instead of... I got him in the knee. That's awesome. I'm just going to wait for him to come back right there. Yeah, it probably doesn't. One more. This is a new trick that I figured out in the last run, is that you can come out from this side of the pillar if you're very careful. And just bide your time. Just gotta come back. Come on. Right there. Yeah, you did. Got my three arrow hits on him. And I have a theory on something that I'm going to try. Um, I prefer to take out the air guys first because they've got friggin' arrows, but... Oh, my, my theory was correct. Holy cow. Ow. Wow. Six hashtags on one pick helped. That's pretty cool. That actually worked out pretty well for me. Now, where are my souls? There's my souls. Oh, crud. I don't want to get too close there. Yeah, I'm up to 17k here. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be such a not pretty purse to lose if I if I don't hold on to it. 17,000 souls. This has been a good farming run. I mean, because <laughs> I've managed to pick up my souls after the fact each time. Yeah, I I get what you're saying. Accurate eye on the on the on the tag. I'm going to run up behind this guy. Two. Three. Alright, back up. Back up. No, back up. Back up quick. Alright, go, go, go. Get him. No. Thank you. Now I've got to deal with these imps. Mmm. I've needed to strategize about the imps. This time, perhaps the shield would help. I don't know. But I'm gonna walk on over. Oh, that, that happened way too quick. Alright, I'm going to turn. And I'm going to put my shield up. Alright. Alright, I've got one more hit I gotta get on you. Yes! I thought that was me. I'll be honest, I really thought that was me. Okay, they dropped some good loot. Okay. How many arrows do I have left? 75. Alright, excellent. Oh, thank goodness. Come on up, buddy. I love that you can't... Gotcha. 
Yeah, um, well, like I said, the next game I plan on playing is actually an extremely old title called Toonstruck. Um, well, not extremely, extremely, but 1996, 97 level old. I mean, it's old enough. It's a game that I've been wanting since it actually released, and, uh, I mean, released back in the 1990s. Hi there. Yeah, set yourself on fire, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna walk on over this way. Jump. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay the heck away from that demon room there. I'm gonna come around the corner. I'm gonna take out this imp that's up here. There he is. Doesn't even see me coming. Hi. Yeah, you were gonna ambush me. I'm not dealing with that junk. And you. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get as close to him as I can. I'm gonna hit him right in the head. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry, did that hurt? <laughs> I'm back up just a little bit. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on back. Attack the wall. Man, dude, you're like a puppy. Okay, back up. All right, buddy. It's not going to help you. All right. No, no. No, stop skittering. Come back. Come back. I want to kill you. I'm going to have to go down there now. I don't want to. But now I gotta, because I can't leave that guy out there to come back and take me out after the fact. So now I'm gonna have to go and finish up uh, my sloppy kill job. I'll find him. There we go. Now I'll put my shield away. So now I have this guy to deal with. Uh huh. I don't want to deal with this guy. I really don't. But if I'm gonna deal with him, I'm gonna do it up here on my own terms. It's going to take him a minute to get up here, which gives me enough time to switch to my sword. I didn't hit him. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't done much on Instagram just because, oh, come on, I need to actually hit this guy. Thank you. So he's going to come up here. I'm going to be ready. See? No, you're not coming up? Oh, no. Don't go back. <gasps> I might just be able to arrow this guy to death. Prophet! Good to see you. Alright, back up, back up, back up, so he doesn't see me. Alright, here he comes. Surprise! Please, get him! Yes! Oh! Surviving. 
Yeah, I know it was. Uh, I know what that's like. What was the game I was gonna play after this? It's called Toonstruck. Think of it as kind of a Who Framed Roger Rabbit um, esque type of game from the '90s. And the sad story behind that is they had enough content for two games, and what they decided to do is, oh, we're we're gonna cut half the content out, and then we're gonna release a sequel. Guess what they didn't do? They didn't release a sequel because I guess it just wasn't as popular of a game that they uh, as they wanted. But I mean, it's got Christopher Lloyd. It's got um, Warframe was fun. Um, it's got Christopher Lloyd as an actual actor in it. But then it has like all these voice actors from The Simpsons and Tiny Toon Adventures slash Futurama and all this other stuff. Whoa! I forgot about you. Thank you. Now, last time I wanted to look around here, but there was another one of those knife wieldy guys. I'm trying to see him ahead of time so that I know when he's coming. This is. I don't know where the emotes have gone. All right, there he is. So this is where I've got to be careful. Okay, I did not get the first hit there. All right, back up, back up. Please kill him. Thank you. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to stop for a minute. I need to breathe here. I need to breathe. I have no more Estes. This is officially the furthest I've made it in this game. Come on over, buddy. That worked. This is the f officially the furthest I've made it into this. No. This is officially the furthest I have made it into this level. I'm going to be very, very careful here. I like the view. It's very pretty. Hi, giant. It's good to see you. Alright. So this is officially the furthest I've made it. Oh, and that makes me very nervous. So, Acura, I'm just going to ask. Is there a bonfire up there? Have I been down there? I think I've been down there. Maybe I haven't been down there. No, I have been there. I've been through that area. Huh. No. Hmm. So, no bonfire. I can't find a bonfire until I reach the shortcut. Mmm, I don't like that. I'll be honest, I don't like that. Because I have... No healing ability right now. None. Is this the shortcut? That does not sound like a shortcut. Kill this guy. See, I don't know about them. I'm not sure I want to deal with them. Yeah, there's something evil behind that door. 
I don't know that I want to open it, but I'm going to have to. And now this guy's... Will any of these guys be getting up? Just go back is the safe option. So there's all these guys. None of them seem... Oh! Really? I don't know where you came from. Ah, uh, now I got an axe bro coming after me. Come on, buddy. Oh, or go away. I mean, that's fine. Hit him. Thank you. I'm not going to be able to heal from that. So, being that I can't heal, and I have 20,000 souls, I'm going to homeward bone it. I made it back. I made it this far once. I will make it back this far again. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. There we go. Whew. Unfortunately, that that was the farthest I ever made it into that level. So it's unfortunate that I had to leave. But unfortunate, but necessary. I'm going to level up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Hang on. Let me grab... I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can level up twice. I want to level up twice. If I can. There we go. The question is where to put it. Welcome home. Very well then taken up. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the strategy of doing this. So, every time I'm if I can do two levels, I'm going to do one in dexterity. And one in something else. Uh, what's the advantage here? Yeah, I'm going to do endurance. Let's see if my thief friend is back now that I've been out for a while. Still out thieving. Grab some more arrows. Excellent. Ashen one, be sure. <sighs> the only problem that I have now is I have to go back and redo all of that. And each time I go through it, I get a little bit better, but... It's just so demoralizing knowing that you made it to, like, another point. But there's a bad guy there that you don't want to face because you have no Estes left. And there's no bonfire. So I've got 13 minutes left. I don't think we're going to make it back through all this. So 
Here's the th Cathedral of the Deep. So what I'm guessing is that there is a shortcut somewhere that will let you back in through this way. Or the other side. Problem is that none of them are easy. You have to go all around this building and up and over the building in order to get access. Yeah, I'm running up behind this guy just so I can do that. See, I wonder if there's a path this way. No, it's just a graveyard. I was going to say, I wonder if there's a path this way that lets you get to the other secret entrance, but... Guess not. Both those doors are sh shortcuts. Both those doors are necessary, is what they are. One is really close to where I was. Well, that's good. The only thing is I probably have to fight a guy to get to it. Yeah, modding four channels at once would be a little bit tough. Just a little. Time to harvest some more souls. Alright, wait. Alright, he's walking away. There's one. There's two. Alright, and I'm gonna run. There's got to be an easier way to get through this level. Am I being followed? Oh, crap. Ow. Those guys suck. I'm gonna come on down, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna take you out. Thank you. Ooh, firebomb. I like firebombs. Might be useful with my impish friends. Impies, impies. We like the impies. The imps are our friends. Our friends. Hey, Twitch, could you make the sword look cooler? Heh. <laughs> Heh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Time for you to come over here so I can kill you. Can't remember if I have a bone shard or not. I don't think I do. Been kind of looking forward to, you know, getting a better bow. The scale's even better with dex, but... waiting for this guy now. Wow, like, dude, did anybody tell you you have really bad aim? Like, really, really bad aim? There we go. This guy's gonna come on up. So he gonna set himself on fire. Oh, he he jumped off the cliff. Okay, good for you. I've already found one shortcut though. I mean that that was kind of good. I mean I I like the shortcut that I found by killing these people and jumping down. I mean that's oh cool. I love decks. I do. 
I love decks because it scales with my weapon, or it scales my weapons. Yeah, just walk on out. I'm gonna get you in the face. I wanna hit you in the face. No, stay stay facing this way. You're not walking off the cliff this time. Could you walk off the cliff, please? All oh, right in the face. Yeah. Thank you. So, I have found this to be the most effective shortcut in the entire game that I've found. I need more computers. One is not enough to support everyone. Yeah, the sword does need to be cooler for mods. I agree. You gotta hit. Oh, come on. It's going right between his legs. That's a pain. There we go. Now I'll get him where I want him. All of these things take more time than I would like. I will just state be nice if there was a nice fast automated way to kill all these guys really like it's only gonna take one more shot yeah you dead Oh, look down there. I don't want to go down there. Okay. I'm not going to heal yet. I probably should, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make a run for it. Come down. Turn. Die, 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 die. Thank you. One, two. Dive forward. One, two. Whoops, one, two. Whew. Okay. Now I'm going to heal. And the reason I'm going to heal is I have to f face this guy up here. And I have three cobbles I got to fight. Three imps, whatever they're called. And actually, I might wrap it up after I fight this guy because... Um, It is 626. All right, go, 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 get him. That's better. Or it's getting better anyway. Alright. So I killed that guy. That's where we're going to leave it for today. So, 40 hours in. Ugh. Only, only almost 41 hours in. Multistream.me. I've never tried multistream.me. What is that? Beam, Twitch, Hitbox, and YouTube. 
all at once. That's kind of cool. How do they stay active is my question. Like, how do they make money? That's my question. How do they make money? Because, like, I see no payment or anything immediately on that when I just checked it out. And I think multistream.me would be against Twitch's guidelines because it's supposed to be... Your, your affiliate stuff should be... It's supposed to be unique to Twitch for 24 hours. That's why I put my videos onto YouTube 48 hours after the fact. So we're going to go on in. We're going to find somebody to read. Let's see. Uh, let's show more. Ooh, Laura. Laura, I have not rated you in such a long time. It is time. We're going to raid Inferno Laura. And while we're doing that, I do want to thank you for all being so dashing and joining me here in the Steamworks where we've been gaming all day. Well, not all day. Ever since I woke up this morning. But in the meantime, I do need to be dashing off. Let's dash on over to Inferno Laura and see what she's up to. Have a great day. <laughs> 